welcome to this overview of the new version of Octane Render. Uh, Octane, Octane just released a new version. It's still in early stage right now, but they, yeah, I, I've been a bit uh, around it. I, I've tested a few things, and uh, I can tell they're really focused. The 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 the, the, sh the focus is really shifting on the uh, on the speed, on how to gain time for for faster render and whatnot, you know. So I have this scene here to test it. Uh, it's uh, just a little scene, you know, a little Anubis guy with some mixed material here. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. And I have a scatter of trees. Okay, this is the scene basically. Okay. And I will show you how fast you can render now. It's pretty crazy. Uh, you can see here RTX is off, okay. And by the way, you need to have RTX base base card. You know, uh, if you don't have any RTX, you don't have access to this speed, okay. So you can see here there is an, a little box use RTX acceleration experimental. And uh, if you tick it, uh, let me first show you without it, okay. Pay attention to this number and the time to render, okay? So let me, we'll let it compute. So we are around 20 m seconds. Okay, 10 seconds to render this with, without it. And if you use RTX acceleration, let me quickly refresh here. Boom. <laughs> it's almost the uh, <laughs> it's more than the yeah, 4 seconds to render the exact same scene, okay? Yeah, it's pretty pretty fast. Uh from what I I've been testing around, it it work pretty nicely on most scenes. Sometimes it just doesn't work at all. Uh it's not clear yet uh why it's working sometimes and why sometimes it doesn't work. For example, with some some fog it will still uh, be fast on some scene with fog. I, I didn't notice any, any slowdown. Uh, just some some weird. I don't know. I don't know why. It's a bit inconsistent. Like here with fog, we are, yeah. Okay. And now with RTX on. Yeah, it's definitely definitely faster. One thing also I noticed is it's super fast to just navigate. Oh, oh, it's refreshing, you know. So you you quickly have a a, a glimpse, a nice glimpse of what you what you want to do with it, you know. And there is also a new option uh, inside uh, here. The multi thread for material is also a new a new stuff to to speed up the the workflow a little bit. Uh, basically, when you drag and drop your material to a new uh, to your geometry, okay. Let's make this guy like a leaf leaf boy. <laughs> Basically, with with this enabled, uh, it will load like s more faster. And the more material you have, the more f uh, the more gain you will get, you know. So it's a pretty nice option, and uh, I really like those options to just to speed up the workflow a little bit. It's pretty nice. But the RTX speed is really yeah. I can't wait. We we get to some kind of instant uh, <laughs> render a bit like unreal engine i'm not it's not going to happen pretty pretty soon i guess but yeah i can't wait for for this to happen but we are we're already moving in the right direction i think maybe the next step will be more cloud based more cloud based render that would be we already have this with uh, send to uh, where is it already? Uh, with the RBX, you can send it to the Octane Cloud and whatnot, but you need to pay, of course. 
So yeah, and there is a few nice stuff now in uh, the new Octane version. Uh, let me show you. We'll do a quick new material here. And play around with some new pattern and whatnot. Look at this. Um, oh, it's OSL pattern. Paint color. Paint color is super fun. <laughs> So it's some kind of abstract algorithm. And you can change the color by just playing around here. And it's procedural from what I understand. And you can also link it to the bump just to have some kind of more bumpy material. But that would fit more like a, a fluo kind of scene. Maybe something more. Yeah, th this is one of the new new stuff you can do. Like if you maybe we can do a little planet quickly. Let me remove all this. Okay. Diffuse. Boom. <laughs> you have a planet now. I will have a little backlight here. I will also increase this. Um. Damn, this is going crazy here. Ah, yeah, it doesn't move with the. Yeah, it's UV mapped, and yeah, it's because it's procedural, so it move with the. With the object position. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, some nice bug here. So yeah, you can play around with this. Uh, pretty fun stuff. I didn't explore everything. There is also another um, uh, color here. The color... Oh, this was... Yeah, the, the color 2 is more simple. I think you just... You, you only... Ch it's a mix of uh, changing... Uh, yeah, it changed uh, randomly stuff, you know, your random stuff. And but I think with some combination of this and some... Uh, let's see if it's working here. Uh, uh, fog volume. I duplicate the sphere. And I put it here. And uh, yeah, crash of course. Okay, I'm off for now because uh, this version is really unstable. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it's just for testing purpose. Uh, okay, I'm back. So uh, the last uh, stuff was the planet crashing. Okay, and uh, of course I didn't didn't save. So there is a new addition of uh, on Octane Render. 
is the new how the sun uh, is reacting now. And I I will show you how how it's working. Uh, currently, this is the the sun uh, everyone has. Okay, the current model. So when you it, it's more pinkish, if I I can say that. It's not uh, super realistic, you know. It, it does the job mostly, but with the new model, which is um, this one, Osek Wilkie, it's it feels more realistic. This is clearly some kind of summer down, and it it gets less pinky, you know. And the blue, it, it's more bluish. Uh, more yellowish, like the, the the other one is more. If we if we can do a quick uh, quick comparison, this one and octane model. You know, the new one is more yellowish, but at the same time, it feel more more alive. It feel more. I don't know. I prefer it. I'm not sure what what you guys think, but. I love it. You know? Too pinkish here. So yeah, this is one uh, of the new addition to, to Octane Render. Um, yeah. I'm going to, to leave this to a comparison of several scenes I've made so you can check by yourself how fast it renders with the, the new RTX and you will see sometimes it, it gets super crazy and sometimes not. Okay? Cheers guys!